What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here and in this video we're going to be going over how to take screenshots with the new Samsung Galaxy S10e. So let's get started. So to take a screenshot it's actually really simple. All you have to do is hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time and you take the screenshot. Then from there you can crop the image really easily and you can crop it in all different directions. You can also access a cool pen feature here. So the pen actually has a bunch of different options for choosing the size and the color and even the thickness of the pen. So let's first try out this thicker pen off to the right. Of course there's five different thicknesses here so we'll make it a little thicker. And then you can also choose different colors. So we have some pre-selected colors on this palette here but you can also go to this button on the side and pretty much access any color in the rainbow and you can even toggle the lightness or darkness of that color. So you can add those different colors through the color picker and then so we'll just choose kind of this purple color for the demonstration here. We'll close out of the pen settings and then you can write on your screenshot. So this is really convenient if you want to take notes or do something like that. Of course, for taking notes, maybe you wouldn't want to use that thicker pen. Maybe you'd want to use the pencil instead and maybe switch over to black as the color. So I'll write out note there. So that could be really useful, especially if maybe you're on a website or something and you screenshot part of the website and then you can add notes that way. That might be a way that you might want to use this feature to your advantage. Or, of course, if you're just screenshotting like a picture within a website, then you can always use the cropping feature to just crop out that picture. Anytime that you want to revert from the changes that you've made, you can just tap on the undo button and it'll undo and redo if you choose to do that. And then at that point, once you're kind of happy with what you've created here, you can tap on share and save. So by tapping on share, it'll pull up a bunch of different sharing options. So there's sharing large files through the link sharing. You can play it on different devices using Smart View if you have devices that are compatible with that. And then of course you can share through a variety of different applications that are compatible with this feature. So there's just a ton of different options here. Now if you want to save this to your gallery then you can just tap on save. And then from there you can go from your home screen. Then if you want to pull it up in your gallery just go from the home screen here tap on gallery and you'll see that screenshot waiting for you in the gallery. What's cool is that once you're in the gallery there's even more editing features so you can actually go down to this little pen here and it'll pull up the photo editor so once again you can crop this out if you want to but you can also do different adjustments like flipping it around rotating it you can totally like invert the image like this that could also be helpful potentially you can crop this into different aspect ratios. You can also skew the image, whether it's horizontally or vertically, which is kind of interesting as well. And you can even draw certain shapes here and select basically like some random shape. And then from there you can crop out just that shape if you choose to. Digging deeper into here, there's other options such as adding different filters. So this is kind of like Instagram where you can add a bunch of filters here. These filters are different from the ones that you'd find on Instagram, so maybe you take a photo or you use one of these screenshots and you want to put it up on Instagram, but you can't find that certain type of filter on Instagram, then you can just use one of these filters. You can also add certain stickers on top of your screenshot or whatever photo you have here. So you can add the date, you can resize that as well, and there's just so many different options. You can add text too, so you can type out some text. You can change the color of that text and then you can change the size of that text too. Then we have another pen option here down below so you can choose the color of the pen and again you can write on top of the image. And then finally this last option here changes the actual colors of the image so you can brighten things up if you choose to. You can change the exposure in whatever way you want. You can also toggle the contrast. You can change the saturation as well, the hue and the white balance. And then from there with the white balance, there's so many different options. There's auto, there's a daylight, cloudy, incandescent, fluorescent, and another option down at the end here that gives you even more customization. So clearly you can see here that once you take your screenshot, there are limitless amounts of options to edit that screenshot, and it's all built into the software on the Galaxy S10e. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy S10e. If you enjoyed it, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you have any other videos you'd like me to do about the device in my channel, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're looking to buy the Samsung Galaxy S10e, then take a look at my affiliate link in the video description as I'll take you over to where you can buy it on Amazon and where you can buy this specific model, which is the North American unlocked version of the device, which will work on all four major US carriers. But again, this is Kevin Breeze here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.